Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. Now, the president of all CEO, so called self acclaimed, the president of all CEO, have come out to say something. You need to listen to this. This grand community is becoming very funny. Okay, it's not really becoming very funny, it has been funny from the onset. You remember last week? Uh, certain Dr. Uh, Zeke came out to to lampoon and criticize and uh, question the legitimacy of the president of all CEO self-acclaimed in Nigeria. Now the CEO has come to make a speech that is very very confusing to himself because he is saying that the president should intervene. Does the president know UAAG? Did we subscribe to the president? They want to let Ken off the hook. They want to let Ken off the hook so that they will eat the money of the beneficiaries. We, okay, if the grant is not real, if there is no money for, to, for this busman, let them refund the beneficiaries, the money they looted from the beneficiaries. But they, are, they want to play a game now, blaming the president because blaming the president the president is at large who will you who, who, you say the president the president does not sponsor any project the presidency is autonomous it does not interfere in any project that is why the ministries are there how can you jump the ministry and go to the presidency why they are doing this is because the presidency cannot be reached because this is an allegation on the presidency that is the presidency that is holding disbursement. No. See all the grants that has been given. There is always a channel that channel the grant. For example, these um, 1 billion, as in 5 billion naira the federal government gave out to disburse as a soft loan. Stalin Bank was made charge. So if you have any problem, the president calls the Stalin Bank executive. What about the empire that was instituted by Buhari? Humanitarian, he instituted the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. Humanitarian Affairs takes charge of disbursement of empire. So when there's a problem, the masses does not go to the presidency. The masses goes to the uh, Ministry of uh, Humanitarian Affairs. Then... The president calls the Ministry of Humanitarian. What about the, me, me, uh, the first lady? The first lady wanted to institute an NGO, Hope, uh, Renew Hope. When there's a problem, the presidency, the, viv, the first lady calls Renew Hope, and Renew Hope gets to the masses. What about the, the 50,000 naira palliative? It was under the Ministry of Finance. So when there's a problem, the president calls the Ministry of Finance. The Ministry of Finance handles it and gets back to the masses. So what are they saying now? What are they saying now? That the presidency is in charge of disbursement. How, how, how on earth is it possible? So just listen to what... Uh, 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 Anyahu is saying, Ken has pushed him. He has come out to make a speech. He's indicting himself. But the only thing is that these are countries messed up. Everybody goes scot free. What about uh, Teobat? Teobat is there. Uh, I saw a video he was doing saying, I'm a body, go tire. Why won't he sing when he's in safe heavens? Why won't he sing when he has embezzled billions? And he's still at large, he's still free, he's still living life, he's still eating the money. So why 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 won't he? Why won't he? You know. So guys, so listen to to we'll play the clip so that I listen to Anya who say things. And uh, we just hope we just hope that this whole thing is resolved. We just get our money. Either the one we paid for for, for, for subscription or the disbursement. Anyone as long as we get the money. Listen to, to Anya who speak. Uh, good uh, evening to every CEO 
under the sound of my voice this time you can see when we are still working for the betterment of everyone hear me and hear me again we are getting where it should be when i mean where it should be don't ever don't ever leave yourself loose leaving yourself loose is inviting enemies to come take charge over your life while it is important i come your way now i remain your own leader ambassador dr pascal Anyang. You are hearing me now because it is important you hear from me and because people you know or you don't know will be coming your way as CEOs of different states ranging from the chairman who will relate to their his members in the states. It is now getting very 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 serious i as your leader can no longer bear what is happening not as if the hope is lost no but the delay is getting to our neck i as one can no longer bear it for that reason in nigeria we have one who is representing me and you who is no other person but the president of the federal republic of nigeria a man who is focused in making sure that me and you have what it takes to smile and be happy it doesn't really matter what you think what really matters is we have a president who is in charge of our welfare here in nigeria who is seeing to the joy and happiness of every one of us whether we like it or not he is already seated there as our president and we must accord him every respect he deserves and support to see that the country moves better and for the good of every one of us we want to come and appeal to him <coughs> and appeal to him to help us reach out to the people he set as a committee for this disbursement. It's getting a fat to the neck of every Nigerian who subscribed to this grant. It's no longer in any way funny what is happening and the way the delay is happening. The delays are now becoming unbearable the delays are no longer what we should continue to say it is well it's no longer well until it is well and that well is what we want to go into right now on today is uh, as i said earlier friday and uh, between today by the grace of god and next week you may not really know that is the business of we the ceos we are going to have a press conference a press conference solidarity and passionate appeal press conference to the federal government of nigeria and directed to our own dear President Bola Ahmed Tunubu to look into this matter critically himself because I know if he is aware, maybe he's not aware that things are still the way it is right now. So he needs to come up, he needs to know if truly this is what he sent people to do. And if no, Nigerians want disbursement as fast as possible. People are dying. People are sick. 
people have been chased out of their homes. People's children have been out of school. People no longer eat well. Stress here and there. Tension here and there. A whole lot of drama here and there in the life of these people. My dear CEOs, we have agreed to have a press conference. No one and none of us is agitating for any form of protest, no. We want to appeal to the federal government of Nigeria under the leadership of our dear and amiable president, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, to look into this matter of our grants and they help us out before people who are under his leadership will all perish and die. People are dying already in hunger and a whole lot of things are happening to people. And we want to go on this press conference by next week. We are soliciting, we are appealing to all CEOs, all active state CEOs, to come to our support, to come to our aid. Let us do this and have the expected result we are looking for. Our money is there and for it to be released becomes an issue. Every day one promise or the other, one thing or the other, we can no longer wait. It is time we go to our head, our own leader, and let him know that it is getting too much. Let this money be released to the masses. Please, already the plans are ongoing as I speak to you, and we are coming to reach you all to send in your support as we go on this press conference latest on Wednesday to make sure that our disbursement comes. Wherever it delay in the disbursement, we want to know and why it must be that way. I don't want to talk too much, but I plead that you all listen and hearken to this appeal I'm making to you all. Thank you very much once again, and uh, be rest assured that what you are looking for will surely come to us. By the grace of God, it's already with us. Don't panic. Don't be afraid. I beg you, it will reach us. Our account will receive this money soon and any moment from now. Please do not be afraid and do not say, well, I don't think we are bothering anybody, but I think it is on our neck right now. That is why it is important we come up to do this. Nobody should in any way be afraid because we are not fighting. We are not going to attack anybody. We are only going to make appeal. We are, going to, we are only going to talk to our own leaders in the country headed by President Ahmed Tunubu so that they can come to our rescue. No matter what it is, it is time. Let every one of us rise, all CEOs rise, all my state executive rise, all rise, all the state chairman arise. Let us take it now that it's still hot before it will get cold. God bless you and do have a wonderful night rest. It's already morning. This is two minutes after 12, Saturday morning. Thank you, and may God preserve our lives. Nobody, no matter the delay, will die before the time. Thank you all, and remain blessed. I still remain your capacity leader, Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyang. Good morning to you all, and this day will be a blessed day to every one of us. Thank you all. In my own personal opinion, I think this is another strategy Ken is bringing to take money from the beneficiaries. If you like, you give. But be wise. Let the ones we have given yield fruit. Why giving these people money to organize press conference? Why? Why? We have all the social media avenues. We have how to reach the president. You don't need press. Okay, 
they said they are in contact that the president with the money what is the need of press conference contact the president we are in digital age take his hotline take call his aid call somebody that will reach the president so you want us to donate money so that you do press conference to reach the president beneficiaries if you are wise better better be wise anyway enough a word is enough for the wise for me this is another strategy for them to collect money see you on the other side